right, guys. Uh, this situation I'm gonna show one arm, one foot lock using one arm, okay, from the 50 50. So, this situation is something that happens a lot and it happens fast. So, especially that moment of the, when the fight stops, when the training stops, and both of you guys like take the time to think about something. So, he's setting up something, I'm setting up something. So, most of the times, like, Let's say, if happens a lot when the opponent is on bottom, so he doesn't have like, he's not trying to rush to come up on top or something, because even if I come up on top, he's playing guard anyway, so not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna get points for the sweep, so he's not really worried about this. So what I like to do, see, I'm setting up already the move. So I make a grip, okay, in his pant, so now I have to like make sure that my hip is close to his hip. So you see how far my hip is off his hip. So this is not gonna be a good moment to try the move. So that's why I approach. So I use my heel on the mat to bring my hip closer, right? Once I have this situation here, guys, so now my hip is like really close to his hip, I can go down, right? So once I have this situation here, you see Bruno is setting up, he's trying to come up, he's trying to reach, exactly. But make sure that don't, don't let your opponent get like a good grip here because otherwise he's gonna try to come up. And of course, still gonna have like uh, attacks to do, but not this one. So make sure that you stop, don't let he get like a grip on the lapel. So most of the times I like to do this, or you see? Just put on the hip, right? And then what I gonna do? I like I use I shift in my body just too high. You see, just like a little, like a little bump, like a little pull, and I pass my foot, my elbow over his 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 foot, right? So now what I have to do? So you have to feel just your elbow kind of like on his pinky, because now what I have to do is what? Just to push against, I have to make him look to the bottom of his own foot. So how I do that? So I come up at the same time that I push the elbow. If I push it here, I have no leverage, right? And then he's gonna realize what, he, what I'm trying to do, or he's gonna try to push to defend, or escape, or whatever, or kick with the other leg, right? Exactly. So then, but once I'm getting here, kind of like a rest situation, I find a spot. Don't put pressure already. So now I'm gonna do one fast movement. I come up on my elbow, and then right away I switch to my my hand, and then I turn. So, so look, I push and turn all the way. I don't need to keep like looking him to see if he's working or not. Just go push and go all the way, right? So we fighting here, right? So I put my heel on his on his hip, right? So pass over. So now I have my elbow in the right spot. So I'm gonna come up on my elbow, right away switch to my to my hand and then so look at the same time I pinch foot on the hip, pinch my knees together and then push. So it's really important that we squeeze your knees together and then push to have this movement, right? You see how you more you push the elbow, more you pinch the leg, right? That's gonna be like a modified situation, modified foot lock uh, using only one hand, right?